A popular vacation spot and one of southern Idaho's most unique attractions lies within the Albion Valley near Almo, Idaho. This silent city, the City of Rocks, gets its name from the pioneers and emigrants who traveled through the region during the mid-1800s as they headed west along the California and Oregon Trail. In 1843, the first wagon trains rolled through here on their way to California, looking for a better life, free, cheap land. And uh, soon after that, more and more people came. So the pioneers came and they camped. They found this place uh, very fascinating and they wrote in their journals. They uh, wrote inscriptions on the rock, their name, the little messages for the next wagon train that would come through. And we can still see that today. We can still get in touch with the experience that they had over 160 years ago. The City of Rocks is a historic stop for an overnight stay, and today's visitors can indulge in the same wonders that the ancestors enjoyed around the pioneer campfires of the 19th century. The first time visitor to the City of Rocks is just awestruck when they come here into the Circle Creek Basin. It's just, it looks like a man-made world almost, uh, buildings of, of churches and steeples and the capital and so forth. I've never been to any place like this before. It was awesome. I've just never seen uh, such unusual rock formations just cropping out of the lush green hillside. I, I thought it, maybe it was a different planet. <laughs> Established as a national reserve by Congress in 1988, it's not only the compelling history and geological wonders of the area, but many activities offered at the City of Rocks that continue to attract visitors by the thousands from all over the world. Recreation abounds in City of Rocks. We have everything from the rock climbing that everybody knows to some great hiking, 23 miles of trails that a lot of people don't realize we have. Uh, of course, the campsites are nestled into the rocks, some wonderful camping. There's horseback riding, mountain biking, bird watching is incredible here. I live out in Bozeman, Montana, and all my climbing buddies out there have made trips to city before, and, uh, and they have all told me that I had to come here. Yeah, that's how come we're here. Our friends were here a few years ago, and they uh, told us about it, and that's why we're here, and we'll probably be back. Check out available overnight and weekly accommodations on our social network at southernidahotravel.com and visit all of Idaho at visitidaho.org. Adventures in Living.